Greetings everybody, my name is Tommy the Keyblade Master and welcome to another one of my Zelda blogs. This will be the last Twilight Princess blog. Anyways, as we go back to Hyrule Castle Town in order to confront Ganondorf, we will head straight to the castle where Midna decides to strap on that mask she's been collecting pieces for. And after a few comic prat falls, she turns into this. Yeah, I'm going to be having nightmares for the next couple of weeks, aren't I? Anyways, with the barrier destroyed, the route near the castle is now open. Only problem is that the door is locked. Basically, you have to find your way to the back of the castle grounds to fight this douchebag again for the final time. The fight here is basically the same one as in the desert. When he hits, he hits wide, hard, and open, but he's very, very slow, meaning you can get in there and use a lot of Link's secret abilities to really just smash him up. After a while, he surrenders, throws Link a key, and says he only follows the strongest, then rides off never to be seen again. When we open the door, there are even more puzzles on the inside. None of them, unfortunately, are as fun as the puzzles we saw in the Twilight Palace. But we do get to use that gear again, and we do engage in some really cool fights with some knights, and even have a few cinematic sequences on our way to the top of the castle. Once we get to the top of Hyrule Castle, the crab hits the fan as Ganon taunts us for a while before he decides to possess Princess Zelda. So how do you fight a possessed princess? Well, if you do it Zelda style, you're going to do it by playing tennis with her. But then Ganon's always had a thing for tennis. You always have to play him a game of ping pong in a Zelda game, it seems like. After you win the game of tennis against Zelda, Midna shows up and returns Zelda to normal. However, Ganon's not done. He decides to turn into a beast. And in order to get him, in order to beat him this time, it's a lot like the match against Phantom Ganon from Ocarina of Time. He's going to teleport into all these other areas, and you're going to have to hit him with a bow and arrow to get him to stop. After a few rounds of this, though, he is going to get smart, and you're going to have to turn it into a wolf, and then body slam him on his side and bite his belly in order to cause damage. Anyways, with Ganon defeated, Princess Zelda finally wakes up, and her and Midna have a few words with each other. Before anyone realizes, Ganon is back, and he's now really pissed off. Minna decides to teleport Link and Zelda away to safety while she takes them on. And to no one's surprise, Ganon shows up a few minutes later, showing that he has utterly destroyed her. Time for a little revenge and a few more cutscenes. We're now on the worst on-horse section of the game. The fights with Bobbin were kind of fun. This one's merely okay. Trying to line Zelda up so she can fire her arrows at Ganon so you can hit him while he's on his horse is kind of tricky. But once you manage to do it a few times, he falls off his horse, and then the real battle begins. It's time for a mono o mano duel, Ganon and Link, for the first time in this game, at least. And it's actually a really fun duel. You get to use pretty much all the tricks you've learned from the shade. He's really tricky. He's not over the top hard, but he is kind of fun to battle. After you hit him enough times, he will finally fall down, and this will happen. Ah. Hey, I make the same type of face every time I eat Mexican. Anyways, I'm not pulling that sword of yours out for you, Link. It looks like it's jammed in there pretty good. It's kind of hard for me to figure out which one was cooler, this one or the finishing move Link does in the Wind Waker. Either way, Ganon ends up in a lot of pain. But I don't quite understand this creepy scene with Zant in it. I guess it's supposed to symbolize that he's now truly dead. Anyways, Minda's back to her old form. The kids get to go home. And I'm now pretty sure that Link's girlfriend has her memory back that he's going to be able to settle down and become a family man. Or maybe not. I liked it better when you had amnesia. 
Anyways, if you want to know my full thoughts on this game, feel free to click on my review. I'll try to remember a card for it up there. It's a great game. The opening's a little long, but once you get past the opening and some of the rather tedious dungeons, you have a great experience. It's definitely one that I recommend people go out and try because it is a fun game overall, with the exception of one or two weak moments. Anyways, this is Tommy the Keyblade Master thanking you for watching this video. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below.